In a distant future, humans and demons live together in a desertic world deprived of water, Sandland. To restore the balance to the world, the fiend prince Beelzebub forms a strange trio with his chaperone demon thief and the human sheriff Raoul. Together, they will set off on an epic journey in search of the legendary spring. Welcome to Sandland, an immersive and exciting action RPG based on the manga by Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball. In this overview of Sandland's gameplay, you will discover its environments, gameplay systems, and unique elements that will make your adventure unique and memorable. In Sandland, you play as Beelzebub, Fiend Prince. In every step of your adventure, you will be accompanied by Thief and Rao, who will support you in and out of combat with unique skills, as well as advises during your travel. Did the demon village always used to be where it is now? As far as I know, there is no record of us moving. Staying in one spot for so long is a sign of good governance. The long-lasting desert is yours to explore. Encounter unique creatures. Meet the mysterious Anne, but beware of a challenge that awaits. The king's royal army, commanded by the supreme commander Zeyu, is coming. The end is only the beginning. Beyond Sandland lies a greenish world, populated by even more unique and dangerous enemies. Be ready to advance in this adventure. Careful, your first fight is coming. Fists up. In combat, Beelzebub is a ferocious fighter that has access to light and heavy attacks, which can be chained both on the ground as well as in the air. Don't forget to dodge in midair and sideways. Sometimes, get closer to the enemy silently and... As you progress in your journey, you will gain points that can be spent to unlock Beelzebub's skills. You will be able to power up special skills, such as the ability to turn your body to metal, or even dark release. Don't forget that even the strongest fiend needs a power up, so manage your supplies. Consumable items can increase your attacks, defense, and help you recover power of darkness, so make sure to stock up. Also, water is an important resource that you can restock in water supply points and will be consumed to heal your health in case you are about to be defeated. All vehicles in Sandland have unique features. The jump bot will bounce over high cliffs. The hover car can float over water to cross dangerous rivers. And the battle armor can move heavy obstacles to open blocked paths. Remember, you can carry up to five capsules, each containing a vehicle at any given time. So plan ahead according to the situation and play style. We'll probably find traveling merchants on the main road. Vehicles will not only increase the agility while exploring, but will also prove to be very useful in battles. With higher firepower, mobility, and resistance, vehicles can stand up against huge enemies and tank groups that Beelzebub alone struggles to defeat. But be careful. If a vehicle is destroyed in combat, you will go down with it. This is where customization comes in. I'm Anne, and it's your lucky day. I happen to be an ace mechanic. Your new ally, Anne, will help you to build, upgrade, and equip your vehicles. Vehicles can be equipped with powerful and different weapons, such as rocket launchers, lasers, machine guns, and shotguns, so you can be sure to always have the right tool for the occasion. Weapons are not the only part of the vehicles that you can customize. Engines and suspensions will affect driving and boosting performance, while option parts will unlock special performances. 
customize these various parts and make your vehicles more you. Don't forget to upgrade vehicles to increase their durability. Once your vehicle is fully equipped as you like, pay a visit to the paint shop to color it the way it reflects your style. And don't forget decals. Another important thing in the exploration and battles is to unlock skill trees for your friends. Rao will temporarily support you during fights by riding on the tank and attacking enemies. While Thief's talents will be evident outside of combats as he helps you get additional items or hunt for rarer loot. Anne also has access to her unique skill tree, which will focus on making your vehicles more efficient and powerful. Altogether, the team will triumph over the greatest dangers. That's a sandfall. Quite the sight indeed. If only this were water, we wouldn't need the spring anymore. During your quest, you will need a place to call home. Even though it may look ravaged and decayed, Spino is the perfect place to set up camp. It has a garage to build and upgrade your vehicles, as well as merchants to purchase items from. The perfect place to rest between battles. At the back of the garage, create the ideal room that can be extended up to three times the original size. And arranged with a wide selection of furniture, including walls, ceilings, and vehicles. Whether in a modern, hideout, woods, or cyber style. When starting out, Spino may not have many citizens, but it has the potential to grow. Furniture making, so this is perfect. Nice, this is one picturesque town. As you complete side quests, recover items, or defeat enemies, the town will evolve to the next stage and you can purchase rare components, hire new services, and allow new opportunities for adventures. More adventures await you in the Sandland world. Join races to test your vehicle speed. Try bounty hunt or battle arenas to put your strengths and abilities to the test against strong bosses. Step into a world where your adventure is dictated by your bravery and imagination. Time to embark on an epic adventure. Sandland releases on April 26th.